I'm Tamara Davis. I'm a professor of astrophysics at the University of Queensland. When I was young, I was fascinated by space and space travel. I remember seeing Halley's Comet and just being fascinated by how the world around me worked. No one in my family had ever been to university, so I had no idea what it was all about. But a science degree looks sort of interesting, so I went and did that. And while I was there, I sort of got interested in some other things and ended up picking up an arts degree in philosophy as well. And at the end of all of that, it seemed like the most natural thing in the world to end up doing a PhD in astrophysics. At the end of my PhD, which was super fun, I uh, got invited to go to a job in Canberra and worked at the Australian National University for a couple of years. After which I got recruited by University of Copenhagen over in Denmark and got to travel over there and um, stu study things like exploding stars, supernovae, and try and understand the expansion of the universe and the laws of gravity. After all of that, I went returned to Australia and looked at the distribution of galaxies in the universe to try and figure out how the Big Bang happened and why the expansion of the universe appears to be speeding up. Uh, and along the way, one of the really cool things that you get to do as an astrophysicist is travel the world. I got to go to big telescopes in Chile, go and meet all sorts of researchers over in the US and Europe and all around the world uh, and work with amazing people. So I work as a cosmologist, which means I study the universe as a whole. I take the natural experiments that go off up in space, the huge things like exploding stars and black holes, and try and use those to understand the physics of the world around us. That's exciting because one thing that we've discovered by doing that is that the whole expansion of the universe is speeding up. And we don't know why. Whatever the cause is, we give it the name dark energy. And I'm trying to understand this because dark energy appears to have some sort of repulsive gravity property. Now imagine if we could harness that. We could have new forms of propulsion. Maybe we could use it as a clean form of energy. And my favorite, I've always wanted hoverboards, right? You know, and maybe we can harness this to create something like hoverboards or hovering cars and these kinds of things. So who, we don't really know where this research is going to lead, but those are some of the exciting possibilities for what could come out of studying the universe. So I love being an astrophysicist, and one of the things that is an absolute privilege in this profession is the amazing people that you get to work with. I mean, I've gotten to work with more than four Nobel Prize winners, which is incredible. And everybody that you work with in the field is passionate about what they do and fascinated by the universe around them. And that is such an amazing experience to be able to be part of that community. Another fantastic thing about being an astrophysicist, is, or a researcher in general, in fact, is just the flexibility of the job. You can you know, make your own hours and you arrive every day and you try and figure out the answer to the question that you find most fascinating in the world. And I think that's really the best job that you can possibly have. The field that I'm in has been completely revolutionized by the advent of digital cameras on enormous telescopes. When people were looking through eyepieces and like drawing pictures or taking photos, there was only so much that you could learn about the universe. Now that we can take digital photos, and the, one of the cameras that I'm working with now is a 570 million pixel camera, like more than half a billion pixels on an enormous telescope up in the mountains in Chile. And with this, we can take such amazing pictures. We can discover thousands of supernovae, uh, which are exploding stars, and do all sorts of science that we could not possibly have done at all if we just had photos that we couldn't put through computer processing and things. So technology has completely revolutionized our view of the universe. So if I have some career advice, it would be just dive in with passion and enthusiasm into whatever you are fascinated by. Don't worry too much about what the future is. If you're doing something that you're inspired by right now, you'll end up qualified for something that you love. 
So if you do what most interests you now, that is, the, that is the best advice that I can give to people. There are so many fascinating things out there in the world that you could possibly study. I mean, if I wasn't doing astrophysics, I'm sure I'd be uh, passionate about sort of some sort of biophysics or you know, understanding international law or whatever it happened to be. There is such a wide variety of things that it doesn't actually matter if you don't yet know what you want to do. Go and explore a little bit and there's these days you don't have to pick the thing that you're going to do for your entire life. You can chop and change along the way. So do, do one thing, do it as well as you can and then see what happens after that.